This time on Kim's Rude Awakenings, the Gallia family, whose home is one of the strangest on the block. The master bedroom is a dumping ground, the living room has a bed in it, and the dishes are done in the bathtub? It's a total disaster. Things are so bad that daughter Marika is ready to leave it all behind. That's why I have a job right now, is I've been saving up to go away from home. It's time for Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou to fix this home and set this family straight. But I'm not a doctor. You're nuts! Britain's Queen of Clean, Kim Woodburn, is traveling the world with lifestyle expert Mike Shalou on a very special assignment. Their mission, to identify, confront, and rehabilitate messy, disorganized families and bring pride back into their homes. This time, Kim and Mike have a massive job on their hands with the Gallia family. Comprising Dad Mark, Mom Deborah, Mark's daughter Marika, and son Benjamin. Ten years ago, Mark pulled his house apart to do renovations, but he's never completed any of the jobs, which has left it looking more like a construction site. You know, I'm a nice, neat guy underneath. This is just an illusion. <laughs> Living this way is pretty difficult. You adjust, you do, but not happily. Although the Gallias would love to have people over, the mess makes it next to impossible. We can't really bring anybody into the place. <laughs> and, and I really like, you know, I, I like entertaining. But the ongoing renovation has left the Gallias without any room that functions as it should. Most of the time I don't think about the fact that I'm washing Ben in the same tub that I wash the dishes in. But when I do think about it, uh, it's kind of worrying. You do wonder what's lurking in there. The state of the house is too much for Marika, and she's ready to leave. It wouldn't be a problem for me to stay with my mom all the time. My mom would love that. But Marika worries about what that would mean for her baby brother, Benjamin. This is my baby grabbing scissors. You know, I just want things to be better for him. He's the one that's going to have to live in this house his whole life. With so much work left undone, the problems are piling high, and that is the Gallia's big issue. Projects get started and never get finished. Kim and Mike need to save this family. Get ready, Gallias. Here comes a very rude awakening. Good morning, Gallia family. It's Kim and Mike here. We're here to sort you out. Your house is topsy-turvy and your lives seem to be a big mess. You start off, but you never finish. Things are going to change. Gallia family, this is your rude awakening. Let's go, Kim. Oh, get it coming. I'm standing in a room. I don't know what it is. Could you enlighten me? Because I've got a bed here, but I've got a, a, a living room fireplace there. We've got an aquarium in the corner. We have our computer room over here. So, yes. what would you describe this room as? A uh, convenient living space. Convenient? You know, you may think you're funny, but I don't find you amusing. We're here because we have heard tell that you're a starter, not a finisher. Am I right? Yeah. Because you've done nothing for years, have you? It's taken a while getting around to some stuff, yeah. <laughs> what about this poor child? Do you bring your friends in here? No. Oh. Obviously not, right? No. <laughs> yeah. Whenever they ask, I have too much shame. No, not my house. Oh, oh boy. What oh, breaks your heart? I've brought people home, and it's strange because you walk in, and almost before you reach the door, you just want to say, I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. Joe, Kim, wait, wait. You're going to die. OK, hold on. Let me make some room. Just a minute. All right. Kim, can you see everything OK? Very nice to me, love. I'm not complaining. OK. No, no, all right. What's this room? This is the master bedroom. And um, why haven't you moved into it? It looks fairly well turned out. Why hasn't it moved in? It's not completely finished. Like, the lighting fixture was one thing I wanted to do. So you're telling me you have stayed in that room for the sake of fixing that? That's basically where it boils down to. Can I, look, I'm not, look, I, look, I'm not a doctor. But you're not! Some would say. What is this room? This is their playroom? What? No. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Guys, can you please come in here, please? We're trying to figure out what room this is. It's our kitchen. Well, you've got no floor for a start. You've got a soft floor. 
It's a subfloor, yeah. OK, wait, wait. We're missing a fridge as well. Yes, it's in the other room. It's out there. Right. Yeah. What is this pipe sticking out of this sauna? What is it? Well, that's where the sink goes. Can I ask you a question? It might seem obvious to you. It's not to me. Where do you wash your dishes? Mm, I can show you. Here. Are these dishes drying in the bowl here? Yes, they are. So where do you wash them then, love? In the bathtub. We need to talk. I mean, we really do. I... This family has got some real issues. It's time for Kim and Mike to regroup. We've got to restore this house so that they can enjoy it. It can be they, they can they can enjoy what they've got. And little Marie can bring her mates in. See, I feel sad about that. We have to divide and conquer. Yeah, you can have him. I'm not even asking. No patience for him. I feel like smacking him right in the chops. Well, what are but... you going to do with her? Well, I'm going to take her with a baby. I'm going to give her advice on that. Then I will take the father and I'm going to teach him how to start a project and finish a project. Well, good luck to you. More tea, doll. Yes, thank you so much. Do you know, Matt, you are really a gentleman, aren't you? Thank you. Uh, I wish at times, then, and, and don't take this wrong, oh. but you could be a little bit rough, you know, a little bit rough edges and stuff. You wouldn't be able to handle me. But I could try, couldn't I? I mean, I, I would like to try if you'd let me. <sighs> Right now, daughter Marika is powerless against her father's ever-growing house of junk. I just recently came back from camping, and I found my dad's car radiator on my bed that he was fixing because he says he couldn't find a surface to work on, so he used my bed. But today, the balance of power is going to shift. It's time for The Switch. Your daughter, who I think has got a massive brain here and knows how to use it, <laughs> and since she's the one that's fed up on never bringing friends home, she's the boss right now. We've made her the boss. We want to get your bedroom back as a master bedroom. And you've got to fix that light, haven't you? So we get all that done. Oh, it's called work. Ourselves? Yes, you've got to get off your bum, dear. Let's go. All right, guys. This is the plan. First, you, Deb, are going to start packing boxes. You are going to go and get that light fixture from the closet that's been sitting there for years, and you're going to put it up once and for all. Ready? Get started. Everything out. Clear a space for yourself. In and out. We're going to show you that what we haven't done in years, we can do in a few hours. So let's go. You're absolutely right. Step up and down the stairs. Come on. Pack it up nice and high. Make your trips efficient. The work is finally getting done, but this switch may be too much for Mark and Deb to handle. Dad, Deb, faster. You're dilly daddling. Oh, give me time. I'm running up and down the stairs as fast as I can. Oscillating. The Gallias are living in an almost uninhabitable home. Like most families, everyone has an excuse. The dishwasher's here, just in a box. But the Gallia's big issue is that no project ever gets finished. Because you've done nothing for years, have you? Kim and Mike want the Gallia's to learn how to finish things that they've started. we got to change things up around here a little bit. So now the family is attempting to turn their junk room back into a master bedroom. Let's move it out so we have some quick chips. Daughter Marika is taking charge. Those are day-to-day -day used clothes that should be hung up in the closet. We're hanging them up in the closet now to start back in our bag for months. Yep. Years? Because it should have been done a while ago. We're doing everything today. This exercise is getting things done, but is Deb's ego getting in the way? It can be a little bit uh, different having a 14-year-old telling you what to do. Obviously, it's usually the other way around. Piece of luggage. Despite the animosity, Marika is maintaining her newfound authority and standing her ground. Things got pretty heated. People were getting a bit irritated, a little bit pissed off. But I mean, it's all for a good cause. And it's working. After years of stalling, Mark is finally completing a project. All right, we got the light done. Light's working. Ta da! 22 working. minutes. How long has that been like that for, that damaged lamp? A few years. A few, a few years, years for the sake of 22 minutes. Yeah, okay, years. you know what? You've done Next it. step, let's do the bed. Come on. Come on, let's get it going. Well, I'm somewhat embarrassed it didn't get done sooner. And now that that part of it is complete, um, I'm happy. But before the marital bed is reinstated, the floor needs a proper cleaning. 
Soft brush, soft to sweep with. I've taken this, I put it under a warm tap. Mm -hmm. Lightly warm, OK? And it's a make-do. Hold that, I'm going to tie it over here. This is all these floors take once you've had them treated. They are an absolute breeze to keep clean. I've just taken an old tea towel. Warm water. Oh, now, now, always clean your wood on grain. Now, this is all I'm doing. One, bring it back, two. You never put anything harsh cleaner on here, ever, 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 ever. I'm going on the grain, my love. And you see the floor, look now like that. You'd be surprised. You take the surplus dust, that's your floor done. Let's go and get the bed in. Wonderful. Yeah, come on, let's go. All right, guys, so bring it in. After six years of separate sleeping quarters, Deb and Mark can finally share the same bed. Thanks to your daughter, you've done a jolly good day's work. You've got a bedroom. You're going to join your husband tonight? I guess I have to. Oh, you poor soul. <laughs> I'm excited. Seeing how easily the bedroom came together, Mark is eager to start tackling even more projects around the house. I've composed my list of the things that you haven't done in your home. Here we go. And these are all the things that you've started in your home and haven't finished. That's a lot of stuff. Mike's giant list is great for making a point. I like this one, stop the lazy days. But now Mark needs a practical solution for completing all of his unfinished jobs around the house. Mark, I want to give you a couple of tips to make your life a little easier so you can do things properly and get things done. First thing, to-do list. I need you to write everything down. Then you pick three items on that list. And I want you to complete them that day. Second one, do you like music, Mark? I love music. Yeah, good. I want you to be entertained while you're doing your job. So play your favorite music at all times while you're doing your job. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah? Yeah. I want you to start things. I want you to work on them. And then I want you to finish them. It's a very simple formula. Have you, do you ever read? Yeah, yeah. Start you read doing full finishing. books? Yeah, actually, I have. Start to the end? Yeah. So treat this like a book. It's a pretty big book. It's a big book. It's a horror story, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave this to you, OK? You go. Yeah. Yeah. OK? Very good. Looks fabulous. Don't wreck the list. Don't watch yourself. Watch that. Thank you. I think that the rest of the house will actually come together fairly quickly, because I've seen that it can be done. The galleys are beginning to get it, but they still have a long way to go. And there's plenty more for this family to learn. You haven't swept this floor for two years. You lazy article. The galleys start projects and never finish them. And that's got daughter Marika ready to walk out the door. Home should be a calming place. Home should be home, right? It should feel somewhere where you're comfortable. But I don't feel that way. I walk in and it's just a mess. We need to get on all fours. Can you manage it? I can manage it. Well, if I can to get you... things on the right track, Kim is showing Deb how to make things safer for baby Benjamin. I want us to be at the height he's at. Okay. To see what he sees, you see? You see? Now, let's get round here. You bend, you crawl him round. What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Um, lots of things to get into. Dirt. Yes. Oh, dirt, dear. In the, yeah, truck load, isn't there? Garbage can. Yes. Oh, you could be at the garbage can. He could be very ill. Keep going, keep going. Yes. Oh, now, he is no. tall. He could bump right there. He's tall enough, isn't yes. he? That, I would like to bump. That is nasty. Yes. He could be hospitalised. I think these are ingenious because Little soul bangs his head, he bumps it, he bumps yes. it, and he bumps it on there, especially it there. This is rather sticky inside. They're very spongy, They've got an adhesive here. Any corner, sharp corner you see, that goes on there. Put your hand on that, look. If he bumped his noodle on that... Oh, wow, it's crushing. It's spongy and lovely. Yeah. He's, he might bruise, he won't cut. No, not he at all. He bumped himself on that metal. Well, yeah. By Jove, yeah. he'd be very badly yes. cut. So that's wonderful. Because we always bang our noodles, <laughs> don't we? Oh, yeah. So let's keep going, my love. Go oh, on. look here, Debbie, oh, Debbie, dear. Well, the bed was here for two years. You, are you telling me you never clip? You lazy article. You haven't slept this floor for two years. Let's go along here. Oh, look at now, what's that attached to? Yeah. Is that is that live? Is it live? Do you know I'm put? Are you puffed out? Oh, God. <laughs> Last time I lay on the floor, it was on my honeymoon, love. <laughs> oh, boss. You know, 
<laughs> we've, we've all been through it, haven't we? <laughs> no, but you see now, you see, that's dangerous too. He can stick it in his eye, stick it in his ear. You know, so I've made my point, haven't I? Yes, you have. The clearer you keep this house, the safer your lovely, lovely baby's going to be. Mum? Right? Yes, honey. <laughs> you know, on a wooden floor, when it's been, this has been a finished floor, yeah. if you just put this down and say to him, all right, lie on that, it slides. There is no way he'll slide all over the floor, OK? But if you buy this, mm -hmm. this is about $5. This is rubber. Oh, very good. Good. This doesn't slip. Oh. There you go, there. Especially if he was a baby that hadn't yeah. le le right. yet walked, he's sort of yep. trying to crawl. You, he couldn't go further. Down I put yeah. five, about five bucks worth. Will mm -hmm. you be here? Will, will you listen to these tips, please? <laughs> you listen to the tips. Oh, thank you. I think that's yours. Now, in here, right. Yes. Try and pay attention. I am trying. We put this on here. Right. Yep. And therefore, when he's on it, oh, wow. I'm really pushing. Can I try it? Do push, please push. Yeah, it won't go any further. Therefore, he's safe. Get on there and see what you think. Go on, try and push that along. Go on, can you push that along? I think he's away. I'll leave you to it. You're a terrible television presenter, you are. <laughs> so, OK, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. That wash is on a cold wash. And this wash is a good old cheap shop. Good enough, good enough. Yep. But let's whip that up. Now, I'm going to show you something else that really concerns me. Now, let me show you what I mean. He's here, that's his height. He wants his little lorry out. Yep. What you don't see is... You need to seal these off. And all you do is, in you go. Watch, go on, put it in. In it goes. Now, it's a very tight fit super. Yes. It takes an adult to pull it out. Should do, which is what the idea. He shouldn't be able to get that out. Right. I'm very concerned you don't have a faceplate on here. We're safe here. We are not safe here. In fact, we are open to the elements. That is very dangerous. A child could stick a knife in there. Please, we need to go to the shop. Yesterday, we'll certainly go today and get all these face paints to make right. your little boy safe. Yeah. Everyone is pitching in and no surface is being left untouched. This is definitely a work in progress. I think the toughest thing to change is always yourself. But I do sincerely want to make the biggest effort that I can to have a proper living space for myself and Mark and Benjamin and Marika. If we're not all prodded and pushed by each other, I think we're going to lose motivation. And I think us working as a team is going to be essential. Things are coming along, but the Gallias have been in this position before. I'm not sure why nothing in the house gets finished. There's so much that needs to be done. It's almost like you don't know where to start. Cleaning is one thing. Making the house livable is another story. Let's see if the Gallias are ready for Kim and Mike's final challenge. We've got one last challenge for you. The final challenge. We're going away for seven days because we want you to put your kitchen in. You're going to do your sink, you're going to do your kitchen. You've got it all here in this house, haven't you? Yeah. And you said you're capable of doing it. You did the light. Yeah. So for seven days we're going. But when we come back, you better have it darn well done. It will be done. Cabinets, sink, dishwasher and flooring. The galley is of everything they need to get this kitchen sink drama together. I'm pretty proud of myself. But can 10 years of incomplete projects really be finished in seven days? I am thinking how the hell are we going to get this done on time. Okay, yeah, got the glue on this one. The Gallia family is in the middle of a week-long challenge to finish every project in their three-bedroom home, including a complete kitchen renovation. I glue the wrong side. Yeah, you got the wrong side, huh? Ah. But for a family that starts things and never finishes them, this is not such a simple task. I only got so much time. And in this challenge, failure is not an option. I do not want Kim and Mike walking in here and finding this place not finished. All right. Do that and we're dead. So the Gallias have enlisted some very talented friends to keep the kitchen renovation on track. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared because we've got a deadline to meet and it seems like there's still a lot of work to do in that time. But uh, I'm scared and excited at the same time. Looking forward to it. Mark is overseeing construction, while Deb and Marika are teaming up to tackle the clutter, reorganize the rooms, and get rid of the junk. Cheese. It's peppered cheese. There's one in that mess. But Dad's new go-getter attitude is creating some unexpected tension in the Gallia's home. 
whatever I say you do. All right. Understood? Is it understood? Yeah, I'm understanding. Perfect. That's stupid. I got you. It's really frustrating when you all have ideas for how things should be done, and you don't want to hurt each other's feelings, but at the same time, you know, we want to get things done our way. My biggest fear is that we get busy and not much happens, and Kim and Mike come back at the end of the week, and we're uh, really embarrassed. But their seven days are up. Now it's time for Kim and Mike to judge whether the transformation is complete, including the kitchen sink. A week has passed, my dear. Oh, how are you doing? Pass so fast. Are you going to do any please? Yeah, huh? I hope so. Look, I can't believe this is the same place. Oh my gosh. A floor. This is beautiful. Cabinets, a sink. The dishwasher that was there for six years. Six years? In a box. What do you think of it? I think it's awesome. I love it. After 10 years of making excuses for the mess, the Galleas are finally proud of their home. Let the celebrations begin. I can't believe it. <laughs> it doesn't look like the same house. It took about six years to get around to doing what was about one week's worth of work. But he got it done. The week is up. <laughs> and just in case there are any lapses in this metamorphosis, Kim and Mike have prepared photographs for the family on the wall of shame. Before their rude awakening, Mark and Deb slept in separate rooms and their bedroom was being used as a dumping ground. Now the clutter has been cleared out and the marital bed is back in business. That can't be the same house. Yeah. In one it's day. like night and day. Their kitchen was unusable with no sink, no fridge, and no floor. But after seven days of hard work, the kitchen has been reinstated and dishes will be reserved for the kitchen sink alone. So that's what it used to look like. <laughs> that's what it used to look like. Yeah. I'd, I'd already forgotten. <laughs> The family room was a bedroom, an office, and a living room. But the whole family helped to revive it, and now everyone is enjoying their new living space. So enjoy your house, everybody. And thank you for the kick in the pants. <laughs> You're very welcome, dear. I can assure you. Bye, guys. Have a nice thank party. You. Kim's rude awakening has worked. The Gallias have completed all of their unfinished projects, and now even Marika is proud to be a part of this home. We pulled a lot of all-nighters. We all worked really, really hard, so it's all <laughs> been well worth it. This really has been a miracle. I, I, I'm shocked it actually happened. We just dug down, we just started, we took one thing at a time, finished it off, moved on to the next one, and one thing led to another. Next thing you know, we're at where we are today. You're doing good, kid. Me too. Love you. Love you too.